I have to say a few days after the game that uh, I'm satisfied with the result because uh, being under 3-1 three, three and they drawing uh, was not so bad from our side. But uh, if I see all the game, I can see or I can say that uh, we, we can and we should uh, play much better in uh, certain areas. Yes, we can say that, uh, for example, the quality of the pitch characteristic, characteristics of, of, of the pitch where we used to play uh, was not for, for us and uh, we had a lot of problems to adopt to its quality. But at the end, uh, yes, we did also something positive, but uh, I believe Finland they now, with the position we earned and uh, with the like, uh, respect we earned, we have to act a little bit differently in this game. Like, a little bit more powerful. Uh, yes, we have had some, uh, of course, new players, new incomers, missing uh, our captain, some other important players, but uh, like uh, overall, like Yuka, Kitola, uh, but uh, we are Finland. We have to, to fight with more courage, sometimes even with more quality. And uh, I'm telling this because I believe we have this quality, but sometimes, of course, we are not uh, able to express it well, and sometimes we are doing pretty well. So result is good, okay for us, because we are alive. But uh, as a game, uh, I believe we can do much better. Team Finland has grown during, during your, your period of uh, head coaching. Uh, uh, tell us about this process. I'm only, always uh, telling the same story that uh, coach itself can do nothing without right support uh, from Finland FA that was really great and unconditional. And without uh, excellent work in the clubs and I have to, to make uh, credit to all uh, Liga and, and also second league clubs that are producing good players and that are constantly giving uh, a lot of new talents to, to our national team, under 19 and also 18. So th this is a richness that uh, is coming together with the like, uh, flourishing of Finland football in general. So we know that Finland uh, A team uh, earned a Euro and uh, Futsal team was very close to go for, for the World Cup. Now we are fighting to go to Euro and many people consider us as some of favorites of, of uh, like uh, to go to Euro from this group. So we have to fight well and at the end to respect these like betting on us. So some, some things have been done right. What are those key elements in Finnish Futsal to earn the place into Euro? A lot of passion. A lot of passion, a lot of love for this game. If I mention just some guys, maybe like uh, Pauno Autio, Kitola Brothers, Kerko Huxanen, uh, Matti Antonen, uh, you, Jurki, uh, Joni Pichlaya, a lot of Winne, Wille, Sihon, and so somehow these guys are crazy about futsal and they are giving uh, not just working hours, but much more. And I, I think somehow and many more that I, I don't know their names. And this is the reason why Finland Futsal is uh, healthy, growing well, and going through the like, Renaissance period. But uh, the, the foundations have been done uh, many years ago, 96, when uh, FA decided with uh, Perti Alaya, uh, decided to, to go forward with this sport. And uh, it was something uh, unbelievable, great. I, I'm just lucky to, to find myself in this period of uh, growing of Pilan Foods. One person is just part of a wider image, and this is uh, amazing what happened in Finland. Passion, you know, when, when, you, when you end in, uh, in a sport like futsal is, uh, you, you become some kind of crazy person because not so many people living on these, about these, and I'm one of of very happy person to can say that I'm living about futsal, the thing that I consider the most beautiful thing in the world. 
and for me, uh, the most important with my family, of course. Puolustuspelaamisella aika pahasti kyllä Suomen pakka aukesi ja meillä oli ihan liikaa paranne tämän kaltaisia paikkoja antaa. Jukka Kytälä kääntää maalille, Hossio, Suomi siirtyy johtoon, sieltä tulee shokkihoitoa Italialle. Maalin tekijänä Miika Maagi Hossio, Suomi johtaa Italiaa vastaan 1-0. Ei haittaa, vaikka tällä hetkellä Hosiolla ei ole seurajoukku, että tehoja tulee maajoukkuessa. Käänteen tekevä pelaaja oli loistava esityö myös Jukka Kytölältä. Suomi johtaa 1-0. Teittinen pohja pelaajana. Junno. Vanha. Romano jättää. Vanhalle reilusti tilaa kääntyä, yrittää iskeä kiinni, ei onnistu, vanha pikku nosto, mutta ei mene sisään. Ta helposti menee vanhan Romanosta ohi, sekin Junnon laukaa ja pallo poppii maaliin! Suomen kolmonen kurittaa Italia, se on ollut tänäänkin todella vahvassa iskussa. Onnea on mukana, mutta otetaan se onni vastaan avosylin Jarmo Junno. Jarmo Runno sisään, sieltä se ottaa. Vaihtaa suuntaa Romanosta ja Mamarella kauho ilmaa. Italy, I'm an Italian citizen. Also, I spent uh, my playing career, almost all my playing career in Italy, playing 19 seasons here. So I know well, let me say, situation in Italy. I have a lot of friends that are working as a coaches, as a club, uh, like officials and so on. They are still looking for their own identity that uh, has been lost uh, many years ago because when they've started to like import a lot of Brazilian born players that are amazing players, somehow they stopped development of uh, local players and uh, they now also is very difficult to find like important futsal players uh, Italian born. I don't know how, but uh, I believe that Italy has to, to find a way how to Uh, step by step change these things and I believe that new like uh, leaders of uh, futsal movement in Italy have these ideas coming to the Italian futsal team very strong team very fast uh, skillful uh, representing their league that is one of the best in the world with Spanish Russian and Brazilian league Iranian league also and uh, somehow we are going to fight against uh, these beasts And I, I know for sure we, we are going to fight, fight it well because these are the challenges that uh, players, futsal players from Finland like. Yes, I'm a little bit uh, sorry because we are missing some important players. Uh, Jukka, Panu, Tuka Pikarainen, uh, Magi, Mika Hosio, Antti Teitinen, even Temo Lukari that I believe one day is going to, to back to the team. But uh, we have excellent group here, young talents, a lot of power. Somehow new leaders inside the team that uh, has to prove their, their qualities and growing. And I believe we are going to play uh, to make great battle to Italy. So what will happen, the result uh, depends on many factors. But we will try to... I am dreaming to repeat the game against Spain in uh, Vanta Arena when we won 1-0. And we were very clever this game, and against I believe Spain. we can beat Italy just with this. Against Spain? Yes, okay. when we won 1-0, right. Mm -hmm. So Italy is not unbeatable. They have their problems also, but uh, how they are looking, they are very fast, and uh, this is not good for any team. But uh, I believe also Finland is pretty fast in, in certain areas. So let's see how it will start the game. And uh, as long as we stay in the game... Uh, I believe Italy is going to be more nervous and they will push and they will uh, made, make much more mistakes and of course we are going to find our opportunities. And sometimes we are really good in this. Whoever play any kind of sport is dreaming to go for the major competition. Uh, we missed one dream against Serbia recently but Uh, somehow the conditions to, to play these two important matches were not the best for us due to corona, due to problems and, and so on and so on. 
we were not so far away, but I think, yes, Serbia did it with merit. Now I believe that we have something, especially after this draw against Belgium, we, we have, let me say, good calendar to, to, to earn this objective that will be fantastic and somehow I, I also dream this. It will be like uh, something amazing to, to go with these guys for the, for the Euro 2022 in the Netherlands. Passion is here, quality also. We just need uh, luck and uh, we have to fight well without fear of anything. And I believe we can, we can make it.